Good morning, everybody. This is Athena, or AMG Plans, on Instagram. <clears throat> and, um, I wanted to go over with you the, the what I'm doing for, um, for Camp NaNoWriMo. I actually had, um, I, I signed up for it in April, but boy, I didn't go at all. I think, uh, April, I may have written 2,000 words. It was, April was a bad month. I barely obviously barely wrote anything so um what I have is basically I'm going to be using one of these from the happy planner that has like the project goal and everything on it just a sheet for planning stuff and then I also have camp NaNoWriMo up and I really like how this one versus November is um for those of you that are new to it, there are two, basically, summer camp NaNoWriMo's, um, and one is in April, obviously. The other one is next month in July, and I hope to participate. Um, my, we have a lot of things going on in July. Really, it's not a lot of things, just my daughter's going to be home, <laughs> um, she is off at day camp for basically the whole month with the exception of weekends this month. And it's been really nice for the four hours of no child. So we'll see how it goes uh, this time around in July. I'm really excited for it, but I'm also not really excited for it because now I, I literally have to find time to, to write. And while I have it I have the, um, I have the writing app on my phone. I, I don't really, I much prefer, I much prefer it on a computer basically. So hopefully I am able to get stuff done. Hopefully. Yeah. So the best part about, and I'm, I'm looking at it. Um, the best part about Camp NaNoWriMo is that you are able to make your own goal and you're able to set whether you want words um if you're hold on let me let me take you off of here let me cause you a bit of, of motion sickness for a moment so that i can look on here because i don't want my face to be right up to the camera anyway um you can pick the the category you can also pick the goal and if you are, it, it's very kind of tailored to what you're doing. So if, um, if you're doing something where I am, where you're still on your first draft, first or zero draft, depending on how you feel, you can do words, you can do hours, you can do minutes, you can do lines, or you can do pages. So it's mostly, are you writing? Are you editing? Are you revising? Er you know, you can, um, you can basically pick however you want to do this. And I think that's awesome. So what I have on here for, for my goal, at least is, um, I put down 12,000 words and that's basically, hold on, let me get this up here. Too many things on the computer I didn't do. It's basically with there being 31 days in July I did 500 words a day, but I subtracted the weekends. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I took eight days off of 31 and just went from there. So what I'll be doing whenever, um, I put the goal down, but what I'll be doing since my current count will be in there and it will be over 47,000 words. So I will just add um, on July 1st, I will just add whatever the 12,000 is to the words that I have. And that will be my goal. Hopefully I'd really like to get the, I'd really like to get it all done in July, but we'll see how it goes. Really looking forward to finishing it. But if I don't, then I don't, um, I might not be able to write anything while my daughter's here she might not take, it might not work out as in like 
she might not take naps or I might not be able to have the time at night to write. There's a, there's a lot of things. I don't really want to write while, um, while she's watching TV or something just because I would like to be there. Also, Wednesdays, she and I, I plan, plan to go out and like go out and do stuff since day camp won't be happening anymore and that's slightly disturbing disturbing that's kind of <laughs> yeah we'll go with disturbing <laughs> anyway um i'm going to put you down here so that you can see the um the sheet that i'm doing and how i'm going to work this out basically so that i can keep on track not only here or not only on the website, but on paper, just because I, um, I might not be able to update it during the day. I don't know. Either way, I, I want a piece of paper to commemorate the Camp NaNoWriMo. This is the paper. I was actually going to see if I could put it in front row. I don't know what fell. Oh, my pen. Okay. I was actually going to try... To put it in for the date because this is this is my happy planner for July I did have this um, but basically it's going to have the stuff that I need to do um, anything about ember and then some creative stuff down here I usually stamp and whatnot which kind of you know doesn't look like that um, do I have May in here? I do. I need to figure out one where I had stamped. Yeah. I usually have something like this on here. So. Yeah. I will have space for this stuff. Anyway. Um. Yeah, that's, it's not going to work if I do word sprints. I don't want to have a long list of stuff to do and then have to mush in writing. So I figured I'm just going to use one of these. There are one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put this up here so that I know there are five weeks. Okay, so I just wrote five weeks, 31 days so that I can figure it out. I think I might make like a calendar right here so that I can see what's going on. I don't have a ruler anymore. I don't know where my clear ruler went and it's really just making me angry. <laughs> so I'm going to make a quick calendar. Okay, so now that I have that up there, um, basically what I did is I did seven lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that I could have the date, um, the days of the week, which I have a Sunday start just because our calendars start on Sunday. I'm not going to confuse myself with um, making it a Monday start so that I can black out the weekends because I might be... Um, what I'm trying to do, and of course I haven't told my husband this, but I'm trying to um, make sure that I go grocery shopping, but I also spend the day for myself, I guess, on Sundays. <clears throat> of course, I didn't do that last weekend because it was Father's Day. I actually took Ember with me to go grocery shopping, and that was loads of fun. I recommend that one to anybody if you have a 
four year old or below who you know bounces around like an eight day clock go ahead and do that but yeah um so I've got that all settled down and I don't really want to color code this I just I like it how it is I'll be probably marking it <clears throat> So what I want to do is, I'm going to take these pens, these, these are awesome. Um, I have a fountain pen that I dropped a couple of minutes ago, but these are over at Joann's in their, their pen section over by, um, it's not in the same row as the Happy Planners, but it's the next row over with all the pens and stuff. These are fantastic. I love these. I like the, um the fountain pen look so yeah it's got like its own little thing on there and it's great unfortunately I can't refill them but I think that they're gonna last a while anyway put all this stuff in here Okay, so an overview, I'm just going to write down, um, here, let me zoom you in a bit. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, so I'm just going to grab another pen and write down what, um, <clears throat> what goals that I have, what I'd like to actually get done. So, 500 words. Oh, that's really pink. I figured it would be a little bit more purpley. That's, I'll be able to see that. That's basically what I did on here. Um, I didn't want to actually give myself 500 words every day because things happen or I just don't feel like writing and yeah um I'm already I'm very close to 48,000 words which is awesome I know that for uh young adult nonfiction, they want you to go um the the average word count is a little bit over that so I'm going to and I have to add more anyway so I'm going to write until it's until it's done <laughs> and then in my revision I'm going to add the other stuff so that's kind of where I'm at with this do I want to put anything else on there um, mark this down so I have Panera and grocery shopping basically I go to <laughs> I go to Albertsons instead of Walmart and um, Albertsons is an hour away. There's also Civilization that's there, obviously. So you have a Starbucks and a Panera and a couple of other things that are there. So I usually um, go and sit at Panera for a few hours and write or people watch. Yeah. So I, I really enjoyed doing that. And I hope that I will be able to do that again every, every Sunday. So I don't really know, um, for the planning steps, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I mean, that sounds bad, but I'm not really sure. Maybe like right while she naps. As you can tell, I don't do calligraphy because I'm I'm a lefty. It's going to smear and be nasty anyway. Um, right during naps. Uh, really, 500 words isn't that much. It's just a scene. But whenever... Um, after dinner. Because that's usually the time that after after dinner... Um, because I make the food, my husband usually washes the dishes, and then him and, and my daughter spend time, you know, they spend time together. 
usually it's in front of the TV while he's watching TV and she's on her tablet, but at least they're in the same room and it's time together. So hopefully I will be able to get stuff done. The problem is that I have a tendency to procrastinate, so if I want to watch something on on Netflix or on Hulu or whatever, that's usually the time that I do it. <laughs> um, probably do... I'll say do one word sprint a day and one word sprint basically it doesn't mean 15 minutes it's a full hour I guess so that's 20 40 60 80 so that's 15 on and then five minutes off so that's one two three so that would be four word sprints so It's usually about as much as I can handle, to be honest with you. I, um, my brain works really well in 15-minute sprints because it's usually around whenever, um, I've tried 10-minute sprints and it just doesn't cut it because I'm still writing. That extra five minutes really helps, but doing 20, I look at the clock too much. It's around, if the, if it's counting down then I, um, I usually start looking around the three or four minute mark, but whenever it's 20 minutes, then obviously I look at it a little bit longer because of the five minute time change. So I'm usually looking at it at six or seven minutes and it's just easier for me to do it in 15 minutes. So I think that if I can get at least one of those done a day and then maybe take a long break or something like that, we'll see how it goes. Um, I also have, being a stay-at-home mom, I also have chores to do and stuff like that. So, it's not just hide and write, it's get stuff done, um, and while, you know, I can, I've got stuff that I need to do, basically. I have, I have chores, I have things. So, anything else that I can put on here? That's basically it. Um, now the other thing is, is that if I do get done, I think I'm going to, um, let me put this on here in a different color and at the bottom. <laughs> That's basically, if I do get done, if I finish my zero draft, I would like to, um, watch some revising and editing videos to see how how people do that. While I am a a pantser, most definitely, I need to there are a couple things now that it's later in the book, obviously, that I need to figure out. I didn't do a whole lot of character building with anything more than the main character with anything more than the few main characters because I I didn't know who was going to be there at the end, to tell you the truth. I knew the, um, I knew obviously the three main girls that were going to be there at the end, but I didn't really know, like, the fourth person, because I wanted it to be four, and then it'll, um, it'll get done into three, and then I know how the story ends at that point, but I wasn't really sure of who was going to stay there, so there's a... A couple of scenes that I can lengthen to um, get to know the characters a bit more and I don't know if I want to write it out like literally write it out or what I'd like to do I think I'm going to have to print the whole story out and maybe make notes that way so that's gonna be fun crappy handwriting. So, um, if I get done, I need to, if I get done with my zero draft, which this is what I call my zero draft because I haven't, I haven't edited. Anyway, um, then I will use highlighters to revise. I have a crap ton of mild liners. I've got, like, these are just five of them. And then I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen. 
So I'm good to go on the highlighting situation. I also have um, a couple of Tombow dual brush markers. I have there. I can highlight until I'm blue in the face, basically. So if I'm done, then I would like to start revising. Not really as quickly as I can. I'm not. Camp NaNoWriMo isn't me, you know, shooting for the stars and hoping to revise by the end of July. I would like to get there, but I also would like to take it slow because I want the story to to go. I want it to work. Yeah. If that makes any sense, I don't want to rush the story. So, action steps. Um... Okay, so how do I want to do this? I want to do like like 2,500 a week and it should be done by this time. Yeah, we'll go with that. I don't know where my math went off. <laughs> um, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, so five, ten, fifteen. I don't know what happened, but that's okay. At least um, at that point, it's just two thousand words. I'll, I will figure it out. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of how I want to do that um and then I should have wrote oh no I can do this okay so I'll make a line for um how many words that I want and then what the actual is to different color I like using colors can you tell Okay, so... The plan and the reality. So... Hopefully, I'll be able to get this done. That's at least, um... What I'd like to do, you know? So, yeah, this is... This is it. This is... Um, let me zoom out. Okay. So this is what I have, and it's basically, um, there's another thing on the back. As you can see, this, it didn't really work. It kind of bled through a bit, but that's okay. Um, I don't think I'll be using the back of that. Uh, I thought about putting in a dot grid page and just gluing it, um, just gluing it to the back of this, but I think that I'll be fine because I have a whole book basically that's that's for this for notes and stuff so this is it and I'm really excited about um about the whole thing so I know a lot of other people are starting to do um are starting to do videos for their Camp NaNoWriMo to see how they're going, to see what their plans are. So if you have any videos or if you have any tips or tricks, because this is really my first one, um, let me know in the comments below. If you have a video, then just let me know too that you have a video so that I can watch and learn from, from you, basically. So... I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your month since, you know, we're getting in the, the bottom part of June. And, yeah, I think that's it. And have an awesome July, and I hope that you do well with Camp NaNoWriMo.